point in the year, almost December, many winners tend to keep on winning. Money managers will load up on their favorite stocks with big gains. Let me show their clients how smart they are when they have to report their positions at the end of the year. Which brings me to CBRE, symbol CBG. This is the world's largest purveyor of commercial real estate services. Here's a company that helps real estate investors, giving them outsourced leasing, sales, appraisals, development, and property management services, although they also own some properties of their own, and they're increasingly been moving into the technological side of the business thanks to a series of brilliant acquisitions. But the key thing about CBRE is that the stock has given you a terrific move, more than, up more than 45% since the first time we spoke to the CEO a little less than a year ago, December 1st of 2016, which turned out to be, by the way, the darn 52-week low. Talk about a buying opportunity. I recommended it as a way to play the real estate market without owning a real estate investment trust, and that's looking like a good call. In fact, every time we check in with these guys, the stock has continued to go higher. Now up over 12% since the last time we spoke to the CEO. That was only four months ago. And we know business is good. Seabury reported a very strong quarter earlier this month. Big top and bottom line beat with raised guidance. So can the stock keep climbing? Let's dig deeper with Bob Salentic. He's the president and CEO of CBRE Group Money to hear more about how this company's doing and where it's headed. Mr. Schlendick, welcome back to Mad Money. Bob, you have just been, it's very interesting to see it, to have a guess. Every time they've been on, the stock goes higher. So we got to delve into that, but before we do, there's a tax code that's being changed. And I've got to tell you, in my old hedge fund days, located in New York, based in New Jersey, I would be calling you and I'd say, Bob, what can you do about my tax situation all, you know, with these state and local, and I can keep my business together. Are people calling you to say, "Let's"? I need to be in a lower tax place. They're not really calling to ask us to help them find a lower tax place, Jim. That isn't really how this tax uh, code change is okay. impacting our industry. What's really going on that's important to our industry is that corporations are going to pay lower taxes. Corporations are our biggest clients. Okay. If they have more money to invest to serve their clients, more money to invest in their people, they're going to grow, they're going to do more business, and that's going to help our business grow. That's what's really going on. Now, it, let, let's, let, let, let's flesh that out. So in other words, let's say your tax goes from 36 to 20, okay? Your meaning the bottom line is going to be good. Someone's going to say, we can, we can hire more, we're making more money, but we're out of space. Let's call CBRE? Of course. When companies grow, they call us. When companies move, they call us. When companies need advice on how to use their space, they call us. Right. If they have more money to invest, if they can do more things, our business is going to be able to grow in all those ways. So would this be a time, you have $98 billion right now in, in, in under management, would this be a time where you would want to buy business, so that, build, building so that you could uh, uh, take part in what sounds like a, a pretty appreciative situation? You're asking, would we want to buy real estate? Yes. Yeah. Well, we just, as you might have seen, we just raised a fund, a billion yes. and a half dollar fund, okay. uh, to invest in value-add real estate. That's real estate that's um, performing okay, but there's upside opportunity. Uh, there were a billion and a half dollars worth of investors that wanted to get into that fund to invest in real estate here in the U.S. So people see it. I think people they see it. it. Absolutely. Now. Property sales revenue rose 9%, reflecting market share gains in an environment where global market volumes were relatively flat year over year. So in other words, you're vastly outperforming the industry that you're in. We're taking market share right. in capital markets. We're taking market share in leasing. We're taking market share in our outsourcing business. What really happened on the capital market side of things is we've gotten much, much better at connecting our people around the world and capital sources and investors in commercial real estate want that because capital flows around the world. Right, right. Now, one of the things I thought was really interesting was that um, I was going to ask you a question about WeWork. I figured they were the enemy. But in the conference call, you realize that you guys work with them. WeWork's a good company. They're about co-working. Right. They do. WeWork does a couple things uh, that are relevant to our business. Number one, they buy big blocks of space or lease big blocks of space. Right and then sell it uh, in smaller chunks. We advise two billion square feet of users of space. Sometimes we put them in WeWork space. Oh, okay. Sometimes we represent WeWork in finding space. Right? And sometimes we compete a little bit with WeWork. That's the nature of big companies. They're very good at what they do. This co-working scenario is very real. And we have a lot of different ways we plan it because we advise our companies around the use of space in ways that touch that Okay. I wanted to do it because, I, you know, I had the hotel guys come on. And I thought Airbnb was going to wreck them. And I was thinking maybe WeWork is the alternative. But no, that's great to know. One last thing. 
In the conference call and in your release, you stated that, look, the fourth quarter is going to be difficult to beat. But at the same time, you didn't lower your guidance. Or, I mean, you kept your guidance. But do we really have to be concerned about a shock fourth quarter number? I mean, here it is. We're at the end of November. I mean, business is pretty good, isn't it? Business is good. We actually raised guidance. If, no, but I'm saying in the fourth quarter, you yeah. do say that year over year it's going to be tough. Well, what we said is you're, if you read through the numbers, what we said is in the fourth quarter it's going to be relatively flat. That's right. reflective of two things. Number one, we grew our services business. Right. 30% in the fourth quarter last year. Number two, Tough our two compare. principal businesses had very big fourth quarters based on some asset harvests we did. We expect that part of the business to be down a little. That's the part that's a little lumpy. Uh, okay. Uh, but we're expecting really strong a fourth quarter. You have to remember the compare was exceptional. All right. Well, I just, well, you know, obviously, because we're proud that every time you come on, the stock goes up. I don't want to jinx her, but that's great to know. I'm glad you explained that to everybody because I know that business is very strong for you. Okay, that's Bob Salenta. He's president and CEO of CBRE Group. Remember, every time he's come on, the stock is going up, and it's no coincidence. They own this business. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.